Today we're opening the rarest Yu-Gi-Oh pack, first edition, Legend of Blue Eyes. What's up guys, we're back with an epic video today. We have a first edition Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon pack. Yes, we will be opening this in today's video. It's going to be insane. First edition LOB. I cannot wait to open this thing up. We also have a few other packs that we're going to be opening in this video as well. We'll be opening three first edition Portuguese Legend of Blue Eyes packs. We have a blister of Legendary Duelist Rage of Raw. First edition. We could pull the Ghost Ray Raw. We have a first edition Battles of a Legend Armageddon. So we could get the 10k Dragon. That would be insane. A first edition Toon Chaos Blister. That would be insane as well if we got some collector rare like CED, BLS, Stardust Dragon. And we have a legendary blister with a Dark Crisis and Invasion of Chaos, I believe, in one promo card. And then, of course, we have a few ghosts from the past. So this is going to be a pretty cool opening, guys. A big variety in terms of what we can open and what we can pull. And that first edition pack is going to be crazy. But before we jump into it, we have three cards to give away. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you got to do like this video be subscribed and let me know what you think will be in that legend of blue eyes pack it's supposed to be heavy but as you guys know with glossy sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so we will see will we pull the blue eyes white dragon okay so let's start off a little bit slow with the ghosts from the past we don't want to go too crazy here we've got a lob first edition pack the probably the most expensive pack in Yu-Gi-Oh. it's insanely expensive um so hopefully we can pull some good stuff splash mage Shooting Star Dragon TGEX. Because, yeah, if we pull something insane like a Blue Eyes White Dragon, that card can go, if it gets the 10, it can go up to, you know, tens of thousands of dollars. I don't know the exact amount now, but it has been in the 60 to 80 to 100,000 range. The Glossy never sold for 100, which this would be Glossy, I believe. But the Wavy did, which is just nuts. It has come down since then some, but e even, you know, 60% of 100,000 is just nuts. I think 60,000 happened a couple times for Glossy. And then there was an 81 recently, I think. I don't know. I can't keep up. There's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. So that's kind of our goal. That's what we're looking for. We would love to pull it. Even if it wasn't a 10 and it got a 9, it would be worth a lot less, but it would be insane. And I've pulled Dark Magician, Red Eyes, and Exodia now. So I would have pulled all four of the big four. Uh, if we get the if we get the blue eyes so that would be you know awesome even if it wasn't like a psa 10 candidate we've got a seal and a great maju a garzette very nice battle scarred yeah i tried to do that and that did not work okay we fixed it okay invasion of chaos can we pull chaos monster <clears throat> blackluster soldier please that would be pretty epic that would be pretty epic we have we've been trying to pull that blackluster soldier for many moons now <laughs> zero gravity we've got a stumbling Wild Nature's Release, we've got a Super Rare and a Manju. Very good pack. Manju of the 10,000 hands. Definitely worth more than Wild Nature's Release, which is hilarious, but it's still a Super Rare. Okay, let's try another Ghost pack. Can we pull a Ghost, Dark Magician, and then pull a Dark Magician from LOB? <laughs> that would be pretty wild. Sunsheed Shadow, we got the uh, Dragoonity Draft. Tinit. Starry Knight, Starry Dragon. I don't know if I said that card right, but uh, okay. Not the Starry Knight, but the other one. Let's try a Portuguese first edition LOB. Let me know if you guys like these kind of random uh, assortment. It's some pretty cool sets. Some of the best sets from like last year and, and this year. And then, of course, some old stuff like uh, Invasion of Chaos, LOB first edition, all that stuff. Let me know if you guys kind of like this setup. All right, we have the Skull Red Bird in Portuguese. The Mazurizame. He's always Mazurizame in Portuguese and English. Will the Yame be next? Mazurizame, Yame. Look at that. All right, we've got a Phantasm. Woody Phantom? That's what he is? Yeah. Oh, Dragon Capture Jar. We've got the uh, Mammoth Graveyard and the Red Medicine. Back to another Ghost Pack. We have still only pulled Dark Magician and Blaze Alternative on YouTube. That's it. We have not pulled uh, any of the other three, so that would be pretty cool. We got Metaphors. Hieratic Seal of Creation. All right. Let's try. I think we go with. How about this? Battles of Legend Armageddon. You guys remember how many boxes and packs we opened to this. It was a lot of fun. We did get the 10K. We did get the Utopia, but it took quite a while. Battles of Legend Armageddon. Let's do this. Oh, it's right at the beginning. I forgot. No, it's the, the, the European packs were better because they were at the back. But the problem is it would damage the card if it's in the back. It really should be right in the third spot. That's in my opinion. All right, so far we have not pulled anything insane. We've pulled a couple of decent cards. 
but nothing insane yet. Hopefully we can top it. You know, what we've done so far with something better. We got a Requiem. Sun Avalon, Dryanome. A nice Link monster. Okay. Let's see. Let's, since we're, since we're in the ghost mood, let's go for that ghost raw. Let's get that Wing Dragon of Wah. Raw. Wing Dragon of Wah. We have two packs. Yeah, so these uh, special editions had two packs in them. So they only had five cards per pack. So that's probably why I did that. I don't know if it's at the front or not. Does anyone remember? I think it's not at the front, right? Yeah, Jinzo Ojector. Okay. How cool would this set have been if there's an Ultimate Rare Jinzo in there? I mean, just, just let me know in the comments that that would have been awesome. Because, uh, I mean, if you disagree, let me know. But I, I feel like that would have been insane. Amplifier. And Mound of the Bound Creator. Not a ghost. Let's try another ghost. Maybe that'll help summon the raw. Let's get a raw. Well, not out of here. Well, let's get another ghost. Then a raw. Back to back ghost. Hieratic Sun Dragon. Seal of Vanishment. And Dragoonity Whirlwind. How many of those have we pulled in, in our day? Okay. Legendary Rage of Raw. All right, raw. We've got a Mind Control. Mechlord Army of Grinnell. Token Stampede. Mechlord Astro Dragon. And a Mechlord Deflection. Okay. I, I had hope. I had hope we were going to pull something good. Ghost from the Past will redeem us, hopefully. It's okay if we get nothing out of these. If we get an LOB Hollow, right? You know? <laughs> It'd be worth it. Okay. Or a Calc. Get the Fog Blade. That's a pretty good card. Gigantus. And. Nestalos the Mega Monarch. All right. Uh, Phantom Knight Fog Blade is a couple dollars. That's pretty good. We're getting down to the end here before we get into the big pack of the opening. The first edition Legend of Blue Eyes, North American English. Now we're doing a first edition Legend of Blue Eyes, Portuguese. And we're going to see if I know all the cards. Okay, there we go. We've got a, uh, what could this be? Dissolve Rock. Dissolve Roca. We've got a Terra Arida. That is a Wasteland. Larvis. That's a tough one. Basic Insect. And the Insect Basic. We've got a Stop Defense. The Furious Seeking. One-Eyed Shield Dragon. Yeah. Umi. Oh, that was a tough one. And the Hinatama Soul. So I knocked, I got them all right. We didn't get a foil though. We've got five more packs before we hit up this Legend of Blue Eyes first edition pack. I figured we'd make it not just a one pack opening and include some other cool packs. I think that was, I think you guys will like it. Em Emergency Teleport. Okay. That's a good one. Time Thief. Starry Night Ceremony. Okay. Just a ceremony. Let's do one more ghost from the past. Then we're going to hop into a Portuguese LOB. And then we've got that Tomb Chaos first edition, which could be really insane. Sunseed Genius Loki. If you guys didn't see when Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! and I pulled that Collector Rare Chaos Emperor Dragon in the hotel at 2 a.m. That was pretty awesome. Levolve All. Higher Attic Seal. And Hell Shit All Hollow. Those ghosts are not giving us too much here. Let's go into another Portuguese Legend of Blue Eyes. Let's see if they can stump me with one of the cards if I forget the name. Oh, this rips very, very easily. We have another Insect Basico. These are very, like, bent. Yeah. Um, insect Basico. Ray and Temperature. We've got the uh, Dragon Treasure. Fire Yaru. And a Grave Digger's Ghoul. We've got the Mammoth Graveyard. Oh, Fire Grass. Okay. The Dark World Thorns. And a red medicine. I am knocking these out, guys. A lot of LOB has been opened on this channel. <laughs> okay, last Ghost from the Past pack. Can it give us something epic in the final pack? We have a Ciaru. Rare Metaphol's Bismagir. Artifact Durandal. Evil Thor. Thestalos again. Okay, just a Thestalos. Second to last pack. We've got Tomb Chaos First Edition, and then we have the legendary. Legend of Blue Eyes. Legendary. Legend of Blue Eyes. First edition. Okay, let's open this Toon Chaos. I have not opened much Toon Chaos recently, especially for myself, so this would be pretty cool to actually pull something. It's about 1 in 3 booster boxes to get a collector rare, though, so we've got about a 1 in 72 shot. Let's do this. Psy Frame Driver. Which one would I want the most? Look, guys, we opened forever for that Stardust. Uh, Starlight, we finally got it. I would love to pull the collector rare as well. That'd be cool. We have a witch. Black Cluster Soldier, Envoy of the Evening Twilight. 
and a Fluffle Angel. We got a Goka and a Sangin. Okay, all right. So not the best luck out of those. That's okay, because the real, the main event, the reason we're here is this first edition Legend Blue Eyes pack. And if you notice down here, uh, not exactly like pristine condition, not something you're going to grade. The story of how I got this pack, a friend of mine, GG Vision, you guys have seen him. Uh, we've done a couple battles on the channel, said he found some Legend Blue Eyes packs at a card shop. And this was not a story of I found them and got them for 20 bucks each or four bucks each or whatever. They were expensive. So he, he got them pretty expensive. He sold this one to me for a little bit more than he got. And he said, look, I think it's heavy. Let's see if uh, let's see if you can pull something out of it. So we think it's heavy. We've weighed it, but we know it's glossy. So because it's glossy, I don't believe anything that says heavy. However, in the last in the last packs we opened, this was around the weight of the ultra rares, or at least one of the ultra rares. So I don't know if that's going to translate over because it's just, it's from an open box. It's from a random guy in a card store. For all we know, this could be resealed. I don't know. I mean, it looks pretty, I mean, it looks like it's been sitting there a while. So I don't know. We don't really know what to expect besides we just got to open it up and hope that we get something crazy like a Blue Eyes, like a Dark Magician, Red Eyes, Exodia. I mean, we've pulled three out of four of those before, but I would love to pull them again. <laughs> and then of course, the Blue Eyes is the ultimate goal. One day I would love to pull that. That's what I really want to pull on this channel at some point. So if it happens now, that'd be great. So I guess we just crack into this thing now. This is a very expensive pack, guys. All these cards are worth a little bit, even these commons. So let's go into it. We were just opening some Portuguese, which is worth quite a bit less. There's a lot more of that available. These first edition North American packs do not come around too often. So you guys can see it looks pretty um, like it's just been sitting there a while. Hopefully there's no sort of a reseal or anything. We're about to find out. Because, you know, this is not from a booster box. So it's, it's pretty risky to open something like this. Or to buy something like this in general. Okay. Let's see how they look right off the bat. So the back looks like a new card, at least. So that's a good sign. Alright, there he is. Our friend the Furious Sea King. We just saw him in a different... Uh, in a different pack so let's make sure we are recording we do not want to okay we're on 20 percent battery it's a little scary but i think we should finish this this pack by then but yeah the furious seeking that's a first edition legend blue eyes card we've got there's one eyed shield dragon looks like they're going in this a similar order as they did in the portuguese so we have one eyed shield dragon first edition that's an umi that's a very cool card i really like the the uh green on these original of the Unlimbs and the first editions for LOB. They just look really, really nice. We've got a Hino Thomas Soul. So that was the exact same four commons in a row as that Portuguese pack earlier. So theoretically, the Hollow would be after this card. Okay. Put your guesses in the comments. Do you think there will be a foil in here? Do you think we got uh, gypped? It, well, it wouldn't be gypped because he didn't buy them as heavy. But do you think it's heavy or not? Let me know, guys. Here we go. Let's see. Just a rare, and that is why you cannot trust the glossy weights. We have a fusionist regular rare, and not gonna lie, I am pretty bummed about that. So let's go over what, what else we got. We got a Dissolve Rock, a Wasteland. As I said, I like those, those green, they look really cool. Larvist, and a the basic Insecto, Insectico, or whatever it was called. <laughs> Okay, just a regular rare, the loose LOB first edition pack. And this is why buying loose packs is very, uh, you know, sketchy. You know, you can get rares, you can not. Um, you're not guaranteed a hollow anyway, because it's like, you know, one in four or five average. So really your chances are pretty low. But even if you weigh out those loose packs, if you don't have the box that it's with, and also if they're glossy, it's just a very small chance it's actually gonna weigh out to be the correct weight. However, this is really cool to get open a first edition LOB pack. You don't get to do this every day. Hopefully I'll get to do more at some point. I don't know when it's gonna be, but uh, it should be cool. Also, we're doing a Magician's Force Booster Box Hobby Unlimited break. So go check that out if it hasn't sold out already. I don't know if it has yet. We've already sold a few of the packs and I just announced it to members so far. But yeah, that's it for this video. The polls weren't great, but you know, you're not always gonna have great polls. So that's it for this video, guys. I will see you guys later. Peace. <laughs> Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!